Have You Seen My Sister? by Matthew Price. Illustrations by Earl LeCain. Have you seen your sister? said Ben's mummy. It's time for tea. No, I haven't, said Ben. I'd better go find her. At the bottom of the garden lived Ben's friend Arthur. Hello, Arthur, said Ben. Have you seen my sister? It's time for tea. No, I haven't, said Arthur, but I'll come to tea if you like. I've got some chocolate biscuits. Okay, said Ben. So they took the chocolate biscuits and went on to look for Ben's sister. The next house they came to was plain Jane's house. Hello, plain Jane, said Ben. Have you seen my sister? It's time for tea. No, I haven't, said plain Jane. But I'll come to tea if you like. I'll bring some buns. So they took the buns and the chocolate biscuits and went on to look for Ben's sister. The next house they came to was Honest John's house. Hello, Honest John. Have you seen my sister? It's time for tea. No, I haven't, but I'll gladly come to tea if you like. I'll bring some grapes. Okay, said Ben. So they took the grapes and the buns and the chocolate biscuits and went on to look for Ben's sister. Then they came to Prudence's house. Hello, Prue. Have you seen my sister? It's time for tea. No, I haven't, said Prudence. But I'll come to tea with you. No problem. I'll bring some crisps and lemonade and ice cream if you like. Ben was getting worried. He couldn't find his sister anywhere. He decided to turn back. On the way home, they had to pass Hot Cross Dragon's house. Ow! Careful! That's my sister's voice, said Ben. Emmy, there you are. Come on home, it's time for tea. Oh, can I come? said the dragon, shaking his burnt fingers. I'll bring some sausages. Okay, said Ben, but my mummy does the cooking. So Ben and Emmy and Plain Jane and Arthur and Honest John and Prudence and Hot Cross Dragon all went home to Ben's house for tea.